very thrilled to have Charlotte here to take us through branding and marketing your startup in Canva. So over to you, Charlotte. Well, hello, everyone, and thank you so much for your time today. I'm really, really excited to introduce you to our branding and marketing for your startup workshop here today. As Jess mentioned, my name is Charlotte, and I work here at Canva, and I'm really hoping that the tips shared today will help you supercharge your productivity in Canva Pro. I'll just do a quick introduction of myself. So I'm the head of product marketing here at Canva, and I'm presenting to you today live from our um, Sydney, from Sydney, Australia, in my home. We're in lockdown still. Um, but a bit on my background. So I actually studied design at university, and that was what I specialized in. But I actually pivoted more to work in marketing. And so since university, I have worked in marketing but have been an avid Canva user throughout my career and in a variety of different roles before I actually started working at Canva. So I've used it both personally and professionally, and I hope to share some of my insights and tips and tricks with you all today. So before we get started, and we're here to talk about startups, uh, but I'd love to know what is the biggest challenge you have faced in launching your own startup or business? Pop your... Um, your biggest challenge in the Zoom chat. And we'll actually go through that and see what people are struggling with. And we'll see how we can incorporate that into the workshop today. Yeah, really interested to see what the common themes are here for startups. So Paula says, figuring out our value proposition. Mm -hmm. Mo says, raising brand awareness. Yeah, both yeah, of them are very, imagine. very tricky. And I think we've got some, some content that will help with both of those areas today. Um, and they are big pieces of the puzzle to figure out when you are starting your brand. So thanks for sharing those insights um, in the chat. Is there any other key themes, Jess? Yeah, coming through, having a solid marketing plan, funding and creating content on social media. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Disting distinguishing myself from the crowd, says Lexi. Mm. Yeah. Brand design, continuity in branding. Yes. Awesome. We will definitely um, showcase how Canva can help with continuity and consistency across your brand. So looking forward to showing you how you can use BrandKit, one of our features for that. So thanks for sharing that. Um, and thanks for sharing all of those areas of struggle or challenge. We hope that you are able to gain something out of today's workshop to help in those areas. And before we dive in, what do you actually want to learn today? Um, what made you want to join this webinar? would love to ensure that we capture the key things you'd like to learn into this session today. Yeah, so feel free to let us know. There's a few more things coming up for challenges around starting okay. a startup, like deciding what theme to choose for my social media content. Mm. Lexi is hoping for a deep dive into the brand kit today. I've yep. used it. There always seems to be more to learn. There is always more to learn. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go through the brand kit today and showcase how you can use it. We'll do a live demo, which will also showcase how you can use the brand kit whilst designing. So hopefully that helps today. Brilliant. Yeah. Ways to be efficient with posting across brands on a consistent basis. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Lee wants to learn just more about marketing, mm -hmm. um, more efficient use of the product design, branding in general, how to choose the right tools for digital marketing. Okay. So yeah, you're all definitely in the right place. Yeah. Well, I think there's something for everyone here today. And without further ado, let's get started because we've got a lot to jam pack into the next hour. So what we'll be covering today in our session is the importance of brand. And we'll go through a little overview of why brand is so important and how Canva can help in that area. Then we'll move on to section two, which is marketing and using Canva and why marketing is so important for your brand. And then we'll go into section three, which is around how you can publish through Canva and share your designs and your brand with the world. So to kickstart, let's go into the importance of brand. In the Zoom chat, share what you think a brand is. What is a brand to you? Would love to hear it from yourself. What do you think it is? Most is it, it's identity. Yes, definitely. It's definitely your visual identity. Yeah. Pamela says what you are known for. Desiree says your yep. image. Deep All she says things. that shows what we are, what we do, and how we can help. Yes, that's that's a really great way of articulating it. So yeah, I think we've we've started to head in the right direction with what brand is, and we'll 
but also how important do we think it is in having a consistent brand? You should be so able to we have a little poll. poll here. Let's launch the poll. So brand consistency, how important is having a consistent brand? You should see a little poll pop up on your screen here. Got three answers. Very important, somewhat important, or not actually that important. Let's see. So 94, 95% of people are saying that it is very important and 7% saying somewhat important. Uh, so I think you're all correct there in that it is incredibly important to have a consistent brand. So there is consistency with the way in which your brand is shows up across your customer journey. So let's dive in. So what is a brand? Well, a brand is really a promise to our customers across a number of different dimensions throughout the customer experience. And what it is, is a system that really encapsulates all of our different values, our purpose, our personality, so how we communicate with our customers, our visual identity, so the aesthetics, the colors, the design of our brand and our look and feel the value proposition, so what we actually offer to our customers and how we differentiate from our competition, and the objectives and goals. So what is the mission and what is the purpose of your brand? So brand encapsulates all of these areas into one system that is used to help you connect with your different customers. To talk more about what brand is, we have a very short little video, which actually just explains this a little further. I'll share the video with you now. I think for me it is a connected set of behaviours. So it's how I speak, it's how I communicate with others, it's how I promote myself, it's how I react. When something goes wrong, what do I do to fix it? When you have a problem, how am I there? Um, and in that sense, you know, a brand is a very human thing. It's very amorphous and more and more it needs to move into very different places of our life. So it might be how you talk to something like an Alexa or the way that a text is worded from your phone company or an advert you see on the street. It's all of those things. So I think that encapsulates it really nicely that brand is every single touch point, design and connective piece that connects you, your brand, with your customer. So every interaction is a representation of your brand. And so it's so important that all of this is consistent and aligned with your values and purpose, because this is what ultimately helps people decide if they want to continue connecting with your brand or purchase from your brand. So I pulled some data on why brand is so important. And I thought you'd be interested to see these stats. So first impressions matter it actually takes about 0.05 seconds for people to form an opinion on your brand and so that's why design is really important when it comes to your brand and your brand identity brand consistency so consistent branding helps brands increase their revenue by 33 percent because people have a consistent idea of what the brand offers and serves them which is really important when connecting with all of your different customers. And when it comes to design, 45% of customers expect great designs across marketing and sales collateral throughout their entire customer journey. So as you can see, all aspects of the brand from design to the way that someone interacts with your brand are incredibly important. So I'd love for you to share some of your favorite brands in the Zoom chat and share why you they are your favorite brands. What makes you feel so connected to those brands? This is the type of emotion that we want to actually help you to bring into your own business, startup, and brand. We want you, as passionately as you feel about your favorite brands, we want your customers to feel the same about your brand, your startup, and your business. Paula says Canva. Oh, That's I love that. <laughs> Mo says Samsung because of performance. Yeah, hundred. That's a great answer. Yeah, Janisha says Telfar because of community and creativity. Oh, that's great. I'll share one of my favorite brands. I really like Spotify because I love being able to connect and discover new music, and I love that they have a platform that also serves me new music that is similar to the tastes that I have. So I really enjoy that brand. Yeah. Jessica says Sephora because it has all the answers and looks pretty. Yes. 
Definitely. And Patrick loves Google products because they are seamlessly everywhere. That's a really good point. Seamlessly everywhere is actually a really great line. And that's what we want your brand to feel like through every single touch point, it to be a seamless interaction. So every brand, as you can see from the, the Zoom chat, from what you were saying, every brand stands for something different. And that can turn up in the world in very different ways. So for Tesla, the car company, their goal is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. For Nike, theirs is to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And they define an athlete as if you have a body, you are an athlete. So everyone is an athlete. And at Canva, our goal and mission is to empower the world to design. So as you can see, every company has a different mission and goal and what they want to stand for. So how can Canva help you set your brand up for success. So Canva is a great tool to help you start inspired and get inspiration on how you could brand your business. As you know, we have a very comprehensive template, li template library, which has a whole range of different templates, design styles, design themes, color patterns, fonts, which are all sources of inspiration for how you could actually go about branding your business. To help you out, We've actually created a brand workbook, um, which is at this bit.ly link. Um, and this is something that you can complete after this workshop if you're looking to actually have a step-by-step -step guide to go through how to make your brand and how to think about all the different aspects of building a brand. So we've created a workbook for you to take away and complete after today's workshop. So for that, that's for those folks who have not yet had a chance to build their brand. So if you haven't had a brand, I also would recommend you filling out this workbook, but also having a look at all the different templates that we have available. So we have template kits for startups. We have a range of different branded templates. There's a whole range of different styles you can see in Canva and start to pick and choose the things you really like about these different templates or the way that the brand shows up in these templates and see how you can apply that to your own brand. We have a um, startup hub, which has all of these branded kits. So you can see how you can start to brand your startup. And so what you can see through the startup resource hub is how a brand could come to life across a number of different touch points, whether it be presentations, business cards, logos, letterheads, all types of different pieces of content. So for those who are looking to build their brand, I hope you find the workbook helpful. And I strongly recommend you taking a look at the templates to see what you can learn and what aspects you like from those templates that you'd bring into your brand. But how can you make sure once you've got your brand, how can you make sure all of your content is on brand across all of those different touch points? We know that that's a really big challenge. And the answer is BrandKit through Canva. So what is BrandKit? Well, BrandKit is the ability to save and preset your brand identity in Canva Pro. This is a Canva Pro feature, but it really speeds up your whole design process as you're able to store logos, fonts, and any campaign color kits you have as well, all in Canva, so you can easily insert them into any design and make it on brand in a matter of clicks. Brand consist consistency is one of the biggest challenges that many businesses face, and it's also one of the biggest challenges that many face when they're starting their new business, as there's so many assets and touch points that you're continuously updating. We heard from our community that people were having trouble ensuring that their whole team is creating designs and content, which is on brand. This is particularly hard as you're starting up your business with people familiarizing themselves with the brand look and feel. People were struggling to find their logos and brand colors, and people didn't have a consistent way to ensure that their whole team's brands were consistent. So we actually heard this feedback from the community, and we actually have added a new feature to the brand kit to help help everyone out, which is multiple brand kits, which means that with Canva Pro, you can now store up to 100 brand kits in Canva. I'll get to that in a second because you might ask me, why do I need 100 brand kits? I have one brand, but I'll show you in a little demo how you can use up to 100 brand kits as a part of your design process. So once you've completed your design workshop book and you've actually started to map out what your visual and brand identity will look like, you could turn something that might look like this, your brand style guide, so something that has your logos, your colors, 
your icon, your word mark, and your style guide, which might be in just a digital copy of which has your headings your letters, your body copy, and your color palette into easily accessible content and pre-saved formatting in Canva. And so this is how the brand kit will look for you when you're using brand kit in Canva. And as you can see here, we've got our logos, our brand colors and fonts all stored in Canva, which is super exciting and super easy for everyone to use. So what I'll do now is actually show a video of how you navigate to the brand kit. I'll talk through the video and I'll also just show you how um, you can use the number of different brand kits that you have access to with the hundred that you get to help you design a number in a number of different ways in Canva. So here's a little video and you can see my Canva homepage. You can see all of my designs. If I navigate to the left-hand section, there's the brand kit section. In here, I can go into this plus button and I can add in all of my different logos so I can upload as many files and images as I want. So you can upload ones that are PNGs and they do not have a colored background. So they are transparent, a transparent PNG as we call them. And you can upload different ones that have colored backgrounds for all of your different design needs. Once you come into this section, you can also add your brand colors in here. So as you can see, I've added in our primary brand colors, which are in this section here. But like I mentioned before, this is how I would use the 100 or the additional brand kits. If you're looking to do marketing campaigns, which might have a different look and feel, you can save all of those colors in here as preset colors. So that then you can just simply drag and drop and click them into your designs. I found this really helpful if I'm doing a special campaign that might have a slightly different look and feel and color scheme. I can say, come to this brand kit, pre-save all my colors, and then go back into Canva and design the campaign using the preset colors. So you can add all your colors in here. If you want inspiration for your brand kit, you can add and discover color palettes all in this section. And then the other great area is adding all your fonts. So you can choose from Canvas font library of over 3000 fonts and use the fonts in there as your preset brand fonts. Alternatively, if you found a font online that you really like and you wanna purchase that, no worries, you can purchase that and upload it into your uploaded font section here. And that will all be pre-saved and stored in Canva. So as you can see, this is the section of Canva where we really set ourselves up for success and set up our brand so that then we're able to design using all of our logos, fonts and colors when we then go into the editing phase in Canva. So this is really an overview as to how BrandKit works. And in the next section, I'll show you and I'll do a live demonstration of designing using Canva. So that's our brand kit. And I hope you found that helpful to see how you can upload your brand logos, your brand colors, how you could use multiple brand color kits here, and also how you can upload and store your brand fonts. And with having that all preset and saved, I am able to create a, an array of branded content that looks the same, is on brand, has all my logos on it, has all the right fonts, has all the right colors in a matter of minutes. And I'm able to do all of this by having my brand kit set up in Canva. So I hope you found that section helpful in understanding why brand is important and then how Canva can help you set up your brand and have it consistent across your entire de design experience through using brand kit. So what we'll do is we'll actually now move into the second section, which is marketing in Canva and talking about why marketing is so important and how marketing can help you grow your newly formed startup business. But before we dive in, I'd love to hear from you why you think marketing is important. Share your ideas in the Zoom chat. Why is marketing important? Umi says it allows people to know about your brand. Yes, definitely. It creates a awareness it creates excitement and demands for your brand and intrigue yeah liana says it allows you to showcase your product and yes. yuri says it creates confidence in your product that's very true trust and confidence is such a big part of marketing and ensuring that people feel 
confident and that your your products and services are reliable. Uh, Tanisha says to reach as many people as possible. And yes. Pamela says have, says have that consistent exposure to reach people. Paula says it communicates who your company is. Yes. All the, well, sounds like we've got some marketing professionals on the call because <laughs> all of these answers are 100% correct. What marketing is, is it's the way, it's the way that connects your brand with your customer. So marketing is how your brand, your products and your services show up in the world and connect to your customer through a variety of different touch points, experiences and channels. That's really what the essence of marketing is. And speaking to your customer through the entire customer journey is so important. I think often some of us can get confused or caught up that, you know, if we've done one Instagram post, we've done marketing, it's done. But every customer journey is different. Every customer journey has multiple touch points. And there's actually what we call a marketing funnel that people go through as they decide whether they want to engage with your brand or service. So I'll talk in detail about the marketing funnel and how Canva can help you through the marketing funnel. So as you can see here, I've got my funnel diagram and there's different stages that each person um, interacts with your brand and different needs that we have for every single stage of the funnel. So the awareness section is really when someone is becoming aware that your brand exists. They're actually starting to hear about it for the first time and they're starting to understand what your brand or service offers. Once that person knows what it is, they might start to dive in and actually do a bit of discovery and digging in deeper to learn more about your products or services. That could look like going onto your website, reading reviews, going onto a blog, starting to actually learn more. As they start to evaluate whether they would actually like to purchase your product or service, that's when they either might speak to you in person, call you up, ask you questions, engage with a sales representative. They might go and look again at reviews or pricing comparisons to see how your product or service stacks up against the market. And that's when they start to evaluate if they would like to engage with your product or service. Then we get to the engagement phase and that could show up as looking like a free trial of your service, actually having a demonstration of your product or service and actually starting to get a lot more familiarity and answering any questions the person may have. Once they feel confident that they understand your product and service and how it can add value to them, that's when the person will go through it and look to have a sale. And people may think that the marketing journey actually stops at the sale, but it definitely does not. It continues right through to when the person starts using the product, if they have the right information to know how to use their product or service, how they can reach out to you if they need help, how they can um, get the most value out of their product or your service. And so that's a really important part. And then ultimately what you want to have happen is that people become loyal. So they can't become repeat customers. They keep coming back to your shop or your service and they actually share through word of mouth your um, product with the world. So that's a very <laughs> crash course um, in the marketing funnel. And as I said before, your audience has different needs at every stage of the funnel. So they need different pieces of information. They need to, to, to have different content that they're seeing all throughout this funnel. So to actually put this into sort of a tangible example, I actually thought I'd share with you a personal example of me going through and buying something to show you how the marketing funnel operated in all of those different points. So I'll share with you that two years ago, I was in Austin, Texas for work. And when I was in Austin, I noticed all of these scooters sitting up on the streets all around Austin. And I hadn't seen them before because we don't have them in Sydney. And I was pretty excited. So I walked over, saw that you could hire them and was very excited and downloaded the app instantly so I could unlock the scooter so I could start riding. I pretty quickly fell in love with the scooter and all of my colleagues saw me scooting around Austin. Um, some of them were teasing me, but I was scooting around Austin and I fell in love with this scooter and thought it was very fun. So that's when I started to engage with the product. I came home and I started doing some research to see what the best electric scooters were in Sydney to see where I could buy them. I had an initial research. I got excited, but then I actually just forgot about it. Life gets busy. You forget about things. It was until earlier this year, I went to Canberra and I saw that they have the scooters there and so I yet again downloaded the app jumped on the scooter started riding around and I trialed it again and really enjoyed the product so I enjoyed using the product and yet again I fell in love with the scooter 
So again, I came back, did research. I was seeing how much it costs, where I could ride them, what are the different reviews for all of the different platforms. And I decided I should actually hire a scooter to see if I would actually use it in my own city because I'd only been using it when I was traveling. So I actually went to a shop, spoke to the person at length about all of the different scooters, and I hired a scooter for a week to see if I would actually use it in my day to day. Well, I used it every day because I loved it. <laughs> and so I decided to finally buy a scooter. And so I continued to speak with the salespeople. I actually spoke with some scooter riders to get their recommendations and their takes on what scooter I should buy, what the warranty is, where I could get it fixed if something broke. And once I had all this information, I felt I had evaluated the, the scooter enough. I went forth and actually decided to purchase the scooter. So I then purchased the scooter. I've contacted the company and now I'm actually waiting for my scooter to arrive. So that was a personal journey of me going through a marketing funnel. And I'll talk you through just what that actually means in terms of the funnel. So I saw the scooter. I was made aware of the scooter when I was in Austin, Texas. I decided to trial the scooter through discovering and learning more about it on the app and actually physically riding the scooter. I wanted to evaluate if it was the right thing for me by actually going through and doing a lot of research, reading blogs, uh, reading reviews, talking to owners. I actually then forgot about it until I then sort of came back to this discovery phase and actually then went and retrialed the scooter in Sydney. I then went to, to the engagement phase and rented a scooter. And then it was only when I came down here that I decided to purchase the scooter at the sales phase. And then obviously usage is continuing to use the scooter and loyalty would be referring uh, my friends to the scooter shop or to the scooter that I've purchased. One thing that I'd like to call out is that the funnel is not always linear. As you could see in my example, I actually went back and forth between the discovery evaluation engagement phase a number of times because I was deciding if I actually wanted to buy a scooter and if I wanted to continue using it. So it's not a linear straight line. People go back and forth, up and down the funnel. And that's why it's so important for your brand to continuously show up in a consistent manner and share the right information that your, your customers need to help them go through the funnel and make a sale. So the purpose of that example was to show you that marketing is multi-channel and multi-stage. And you need to continuously re-engage your customers throughout every single part of that funnel. So you're like, why are you telling me about your scooter? <laughs> we know you're excited about it. But that's where Canva can help you. Canva can help you build marketing for every single part of that marketing funnel, from awareness through to sales and through to loyalty. And what I mean by that is that you can come onto Canva to build anything from presentations to Instagram posts to fact sheets to FAQs, sales collateral, merch, flyers, T-shirts. You can literally create anything that you dream of in Canva. And so that's why you can use Canva to build everything you need for your funnel. We have a few tips to help you speed up your marketing content creation as you start to scale up your business. We hope this helps you feel like a pro in Canva. So I would take a screenshot of this because it's very helpful. And I was very excited when I learned all of these keyboard shortcuts. But these are some quick hacks for how you can design really quickly in Canva. So if you hit the C button, you get a circle. If you hit the T button, you get a text box. If you hit the R button, you get a rectangle. If you hit the L, you get a line. And copy paste is control B. That helps speed things up a lot. Um, and to help you design like a pro, there are a few features in Canva Pro, which help speed things up. So you can use our unlimited content library, which has over 100 million assets in it, free to use with a Canva Pro subscription. You can use our background remover tool, which is really great for showcasing products. And when you're designing products, um, it's really great. And the magic resize. This is your secret to success. You can design once and resize to any single channel simply using this click of a button in Canva. And I'll show you how. So unlimited content, like I said, you have the ability to choose from our whole library, background remover, so great for designing products um, and showcasing products in Canva and removing the busy background. And yeah, magic right resize, your magic secret weapon. 
So what we'll do is let's actually use all of these to create a design together. And let's just design together step by step. And you can see how I can design and how I use these different features and the brand kit to bring the whole brand together. So what we'll be doing is creating a flyer together and we'll do this as a step by step. So let's design together. And the first steps are to open up your Canva, first of all. We'll go through step by step, clicking on a flyer template. We'll choose the template. We'll then edit the template and download it. So let me jump over to my Canva and let's start designing together. So like I said before, we have our brand kit all set up. We're set up for success. We've got all of our logos, our colors, our fonts in here. I'm going to hit the back button. All right, so we want to design a flyer. So I can click on the flyer page here, or I can type in flyer into the search bar. But for the purpose of this, I'm actually going to type it into the search bar. And as you can see here, we have a range of designs that are already pre-made in Canva and they're editable for you to use. So this is a really great way to find inspiration. Also a really great way to figure out what layout you might like. There's so many different ways you can design a flyer. So this is really helpful to see what you might like, all the different, you know, do you want photos? Do you want it to be more illustrative? Do you want it to feel very like handmade? So there's a number of different ways you can go to design. Here's a great example of background remover. That's just really showing the product. So let's pick a template here and see, let's design together. All right, let me find, I'm going to click on this template. So I'm making a flyer for Holistica, my wellness company, which was the company that I showed you in my brand kit to showcase my new yoga studio. These images don't really relate to my brand or this color. So I want to fix that pretty quickly. So it feels a bit more on brand. If you click on the rectangle here and go to the color, you can see all of your brand colors are saved in here. So that makes it super easy. Just simply click that. Great. It's already looking a lot better because it's more on brand. You can also change all of your colors and your fonts simply by clicking on here and all your brand colors are stored, which is just really makes it fast even when editing pre-made templates. So I've just showed you how you can actually change the colors using your brand kit. You also will have a section in your Canva where you can access your logos. And as you can see here, I can actually access all of my pre-uploaded brand kit logos. So all I need to do is add in my Holistica logo. Might add that down here. I could actually put that on the right. Oh yes. So you might need to ungroup some sections. Sometimes the layouts have grouped sections to make it easier to keep everything there. The green looks a bit dark. I might change that to my light gray and then I'll change this to green. So as you can see, I've pretty quickly added in my logo and changed the colors. Um, in here, I need to change these fonts to be my on-brand fonts. So my on-brand fonts were my, this font. And this is meant to be my body copy font. It's DM Sans, DM Sans, DM Sans. All right, so we've actually just put all of this on brand, but now we need to change the content. So we need to change it to the Holistica. my free yoga classes. This isn't standing out enough, so I might change the color of that. Try out free yoga classes today. We need to change the year because we're not going back in time. And I'm just changing this. All right. So I've pretty quickly changed the content of this and made a poster. But obviously the images up here don't actually align with anything to do with my brand. So what I can do is use my content library that we have here, which is for all Canva Pro users. There's 100 million different assets. And I can type in something like yoga. And great, there's a number of different images. And so what I can do is add that image in 
click edit and go to background remover if I want to remove the busy background from that. Great. Now we have the person on a mat. We can put them in this image. And then I just hit my R button, the rectangle. I might actually want to have a different color rectangle behind here. All I need to do is send this, is then send this to the back. And then there we go, I have a colored background. Oops, one second. <laughs> and there you go. You've used background remover and you've added a colored background through a rectangle. I'll also change these sections as it doesn't feel super on brand. I might add this section in here. Let's see what other images there are. Actually, I prefer this image. So I might add that in there. Great. So what I've done is I've used my brand kit to change the colors. I've added in my logo and I've used background remover to use the, remove the background here. And I've kind of polished up this template pretty quickly and actually made it on brand relatively quickly. I probably don't even need this text here. I might even just have this logo and I've managed to create a flyer very quickly. I only need one page. So there you go. That's how you can create a flyer. The third magic tool that I was going to show you was the magic resize. So you've got this, this flyer. You might want to do a post of this on social media as well as having a physical printout flyer. So all you might need to do is let's do a Facebook cover. And what it will do is copy and resize. And so what it does is it, it uses the scale of the other um, asset, but it keeps everything on here. And so all you actually really need to do is just kind of scale everything up. And I might even want to delete that bar. I might just want to have this like up here. And then I can actually just scale all of this out. One second. Might want to have something like that. And then I can I just hit R again. Maybe I want to have a design that's like this. Send to backward. I, I use this tool all the time um, to, to, to create all the different layers. And there I've pretty quickly managed to create a Facebook post in a couple of seconds, which is all on brand and just from using our brand kit and from resizing. So that's the magic tool that is really helpful to help you publish your brand across a number of different channels and touch points. So through this demonstration, I hope you've been able to see how you can find your brand kit through your logos, through the stored colors, apply that to a template, use our content library, which has over 100 million photos and images and assets, audio and video to add this into your design. And then we've been able to use our magic resize to actually resize the design. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. We'll actually jump back now to the um, presentation to go through our next section on how to share your designs with the world. So how to publish like a pro. So now that you're a superstar brander, you're a superstar marketer, and you're creating all of this amazing marketing content assets, you actually need to share all of that content with the world. That's how your customers will be able to see your brand. And so it's really important to ensure that you're publishing your brand and your assets across a number of different touch points. And that's where Canva can help out. So the biggest part, like I said, is share of marketing is sharing your brand with the world, because if no one knows about your brand, then it'll be very hard for them to connect with you. And so your brand and your marketing can show up in a number of different ways through digital. So online channels such as websites, social media, blogs, reviews, through print. That could be through flyers, merchandise, signage, uh, things in your physical store. A physical space. So if you did have a store, your shop front, what does it look like? What does it feel like? How do people interact with it? Or if you had a market stall, or if it's a physical product, what's the experience of getting that physical product and opening up the box and seeing what it's like? 
and then also experience. So how people interact with you, your sales team, your customer service team, how they interact with you personally, how they interact if they need any support. That is all different touch points and ways that people need to interact with your brand. And that's all, it's important that your brand is consistent through every single one of those touch points. So I'd love to hear from you. What are the, some of the different ways that you currently market your business? I'd love to hear what some of you are doing now. So some ways some people market the businesses. Paula uses Google ads and Facebook ads manager. A lot of social media coming through. Tammy, Instagram and Facebook. Jomalin, social media. Uh, Leah uses video content. Oh, amazing. Uh, Jessica's has been more word of mouth and Instagram. Mo is distributing physical flyers. Amazing. Well, I hope that the flyer tutorial was helpful and I'll show you uh, another way you can use those flyers through Canva in a second. All of those different channels are incredibly important and I'll show you how you can actually publish through Canva to some of those different channels, both for flyers and print goods and also for digital content. So we heard from our community and people have a lot of pain points when it comes to publishing their content. They feel that they have to jump between so many different platforms if they've got co content on social media, they have to jump all over the place to actually share it with the world. They struggle to know what format to export their design to, and they pay a lot for other platforms to actually help schedule their content. So that's why we built a content planner and it actually enables you to actually create, plan, schedule, and publish all of your posts for social media through Canva. And this is a feature that is accessible camp through Canva Pro. And we heard your feedback loud and clear. Everyone wanted Instagram to be on there. And so we actually recently launched the Instagram integration. So everyone can publish to Instagram now through Canva Pro. I'll show you a quick video to show you what it looks like. that got you hyped to want to um, try out the content planner in your Canva Pro account. So where can you schedule? You can schedule to all of these different platforms, which is really exciting. It really streamlines your efficiencies when it comes to publishing your content with the world. We won't do a live demonstration here, but I would strongly recommend that every single person after this call, jumps off, jumps into their Canva Pro and actually has a look and play around with scheduling to the content planner. The things you should know before you start is that you can only connect Instagram business accounts. That's just how Instagram and our content planner works. You, can o you cannot share your calendar. It's only accessible to yourself currently, but we are working to make this accessible to everyone in your team in the very near future so that your whole team can use it. And if you've signed into Canva using Facebook before, you may need to remove that in integration and reintegrate with the platform. And you do that through your Facebook settings. So, so there are just a few things to bear in mind before you start, but we strongly recommend that you um, test out publishing and scheduling your content that you're, you've built in Canva to the content planner. The second way for your the second way for your brand to show up in the world is through print. And Canva has an extensive way and range of ways that you can print through Canva. As we have such a global audience here today, I'm not able to go through individually and share what you can and can't print in each of your countries. It does vary per country just as we have print partners, but I'd highly recommend you check out canva.com slash print slash what dash we dash print. Um, and there you'll be able to see a comprehensive list of what you can print in your com in your country. You can print anything on Canva really. And there's so many amazing ways that you could print and show up your brand in the world through printed products. Here's a little example. I just made a holistic a wellness t-shirt. I could make my flyers. I could make business cards. I can make um, posters. There's so many different ways that you can actually print your goods and ensure that there are, there's a physical presence of your brand. And let's actually go through this. I made a little video of a similar flyer that I made prior to this webinar just to show you how to go through it. 
So in the right hand section, you'll see print flyers if print is available in your country, but you can also click down the drop down just to double check and you'll see that you can have you have an option to get um, your flyers printed if you wanted it in a smaller size or a larger size um, specifically for the print flyer. Uh, you can then select all of your different print options. So you'll see here there's different paper styles in here. So standard, premium or gloss, different finishes, matte, gloss, unfinished. And you can select how many copies of the flyer you would want. And as you sort of order more, the pricing generally does decrease with the economies of scale. Once you go through next, you can then press next. And it actually helps you prepare your file for print to make sure that everything is good to go when it goes to print. So as you could see here, they are checking if there's any white areas. If I wanted to have this image extend out to the corner, so into the bleed, what I could do is actually go through now and edit that to extend the image out and it guides us through that process. As you can see here, then we can move to the next section. It tells us what the danger zone is. So there's a red outline here, which comes up. The danger zone are things that are going to be cropped off when it prints. So if you have text hanging over the edge, that could be cropped off and you might want to edit that. And it also gives us a time to do a final proof. So when I just came and looked at that, I was like, oops, I had the wrong information. I needed to change that address. Lucky I caught that. That's what you can check in your final stages of printing. Once you're happy with it, you can press continue and then you'll go through and your shipping options will come up here and you can put in your shipping address and then you'll go through and be able to put through your coupon that you just claimed and your credit card details to actually purchase um, the print orders. There are such a range of different things you can print, not just flyers, you can print things in some countries from mugs to t-shirts to photo books, posters, business cards, there's a whole range of things and so I would encourage you if you, your business does need some printed goods and physical flyers or things for your brand to strongly look at Canva and see how you can actually publish your designs through Canva when printing. So I hope you found that uh, little video helpful to see how you could print and how you could also use the content planner to make sure your brand shows up in the world. So we've actually covered a lot in this session, I've got six minutes remaining. So today we've covered the importance of brand, what, how to set up your brand kit, We've then gone through what marketing is, how the marketing funnel works and how Canva can show up throughout all of those stages in the funnel. And we did our live demonstration showcasing some of the Canva Pro features. We then went into a section on publishing like a pro showcasing how you can use the content planner and print to ensure that your brand shows up in the world and is connecting your brand with your customers. So I might pause here, Jess, to have sort of two minutes of questions before we actually wrap up the webinar today. Fantastic. Yeah, we do have a question from Paula about Content Planner. Yeah. Can you connect multiple social media business accounts per account, per Canva account, per platform? Currently, there is a limitation there, but we are looking to get that fixed. Um, so currently, I believe you can have one, but we are looking to get that that fixed and, and that should be live soon. Okay, fantastic. So we did have a question from Ginger. Any suggestions for mm. marketing tips for recruiters? Like, yes, yeah. I actually do <laughs> have some great tips. So in Canva, I'm actually just going to show you, we have some great tools so you can make presentations. And I found that through recruitment, um, a really great idea is to actually create a bit of a presentation on what your brand is. So you could create a template, um, which is a, a presentation that you share with anyone who's interested in applying for a job at your company, which has an overview of your company, um, what you stand for, what your goals are, where you're going as a company. And the fun thing that I short, thought I would add in here is that you can actually through Canva do a thing called present and record where you do a talking presentation. And so what it means is it allows you to go to our recording studio and record yourself presenting the presentation. So that then when you send it to people, it has a little talking bubble with your face over it. That is a really great way to talk candidates through at scale what your company um, offers. And it's a really great way to sort of 
scale your recruitment process because you can record this presentation once and send it to all candidates. I'd also recommend in the presentation section, if you have like a manager on your team who's going to start hiring for people, what you could do is add a circular frame in here and you could actually upload a video of the manager talking and introducing themselves to the candidate saying, hi, I'm Charlotte. I run the product marketing team here at Canva. Would love to have you come on board and join our company. Here are our three goals for the next year. And here's how you could help. Take a look at the rest of the presentation to find out more. And that's a really fun way to actually engage your candidates in the recruitment process. And this is all through using a Canva presentation and the talking presentations functionality, which is up here. So that would be my recommendation for recruitment. Fantastic. Ginger is beyond stoked. Thank you. You are a rock star. Super thrilled with those insights. So thank you very much. No worries. So we did have a few questions come through here. If I create a video, mm. uh, do I need to import it into an Instagram doc to post it into Instagram or can I post it directly to Instagram? You, can, po you can post it directly to Instagram, which is great. Really saves that lots of thanks coming through for you in the chat well actually a big thank you to all of you for staying so engaged and listening throughout this entire workshop we hope that you found it really valuable and we hope that you learned some tips and tricks to help you design in canva and to market your brand across all of the different marketing touch points we actually have this page which is designed for startups so people can find information on how to use Canva for their startup. And we have a whole range of template kits, like I mentioned before. So I would strongly recommend you all jumping onto this page to learn more about how you can use Canva for your startup. And I hope that's really helpful. Series of webinars is one of the kinds of uh, series that we have coming out of Design School, our live events. So if you want more webinar goodness, definitely head to this page and you can see an upcoming month of content designed to support our community to design. So do check out that designschool.canva.com forward slash event. Uh, and that is about it for today. So join me in thanking Charlotte for joining us today for such a brilliant session on branding and marketing your startup. And a big thank you to Jess for helping run this session today and being a wonderful uh, question questionnaire and asking me so many great questions from the chat. Thank you again for your time and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. Mm -hmm.